Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my last play, Pillars of Eternity, episode 348. Okay, we left off, oh yeah, we were trying to head down here, weren't we? I guess, when I reloaded, they stopped running. <laughs> you are. Yeah? Ready when you are. You're ready Say when the word. you are, the word is, hurry up. Ten last two words, but beside the point, oh, was that something? Down. Oh, shit, what's this? Hello. Anyone suspected of treachery must be reported at once. Hey, ghosts. Um. Who are you? Robbed man? Thanos. Robbed woman. Huh? What the hell's going on? Oh my God! Good, you have come. You have heard of the recent defections from our order caused by this, this apostate in Kratom. A pale image of Thanos beckons you, with the curl of translucent fingers. Good, you have come. You have heard of the recent defections from your order caused by this, this apostate in Kratom. Answer floats to your surface. I can't just remember from ages ago. Yes, I have. This is a dangerous woman whose lies spread like plague. She inspires chaos, sows conflict. Because of these about unusual the circumstances, I am speaking to all our initiates personally to ensure there is no more dissension. Wow. Is he talking about um, Lady Webb? You heard a recent defection from all the. Ah, caused by this. How oh, it is. Because she was one of us. Hesitate. Who she was no longer matters. If her following continues to grow, there will be war, and all our work will be undone. Wow. You were you were no. recruited from Kratom, were you not? You must have known this heretic woman, Yavara. Far. She just said Ladam Web. She's Ladam Web. Uh, Matt and Matt. Ma no, it's not Madam Web. Lady Web, wasn't it? Lady Web. She said she was Lady Web, didn't she? Was that her real name before it? Hearing the name, a flood of memories pulls into your mind. She was my mentor. I was in love with her. She and I were friends. We may have met a few times. She's my sister. Oh my god. No, we ever met. Bloody hell, which one do I go with? I guess it's up to them. Or am I being f Thanos? No, Thanos is asking me. If it's Thanos, it'd be a lover, wouldn't it? We met a few times. She's my sister. Yeah, go with sister. This is deeply troubling. She cannot be your sister, not anymore. For the love of the gods, you must destroy all feelings you have for her. Oh, sister as in the, the group. Stop being my sister long. I understand. What I ask is no simple thing. But this is the only way I can keep your soul safe. I am trusting you to remain loyal to the gods in this. If you do not, you will have greater powers than me to answer to. But you will answer to me as well. After what he adds. Stand your emesis. Oh, they're gone. Why are you listening? Why not the whole group? Ready when you are. We're all here, you know. We're all here. Hello, boss. What's this? Golden celery. You don't want the regular kind, you want the golden kind. Guess that's some more golden celery. Okay, where's the... Uh, there's your map. Oh, over here. There we go. Ah! Finally reach it! Oh, I should probably let them rest before we went. Fudge. Uh, hopefully we'll get tested as we get there. Uh, some creatures in armor types are special resistant or vulnerable to specific damage types. So the creatures damage reduction on their tooltip and the beast tree to decide what weapon and spells will work best on them. On them. Oh yeah. On them. Okay, where are we? Ooh, silly. 
Not a city, a town. Maybe, oh, would it be in here so I don't have to use my ward? Passes of six. Maybe that's an inn. Yeah, surely won't be an inn. Oh, hi! This is to an old sign of Thanos. I stood but still. Estramore. The warrior saunters over a smear of suspicion visible beneath streaks of paint. He glances at your gear before favouring you with a long look. Another fugitive from the burning city? A yeah, fugitive. Six tribe of elf Cavant welcome you to Twin Elms. For you lies the Heath Song district. You are free to explore it, but do not let your feet stray into the other districts. Those are forbidden to Estramar. Can you tell me about Twin Elms? Why is it forbidden to enter the remaining districts in Twin Elms? Twin Elm is a sacred city built where the first keepers of the stone met the builders. It is alongside the works of the builders and it is the only place in all of Erekath where it is permitted to set foot among the sacred places. The astronomers, however, do not have proper respect for their stones here. His words trigger something in your memory. You see an image of a perfect cube of Aradra, just as quickly the image fades. The leader of one of the tribes could give you the permission of the city only Amar Barfant is present in the passage of the six today, and she has her own troubles. So none of us help her out and we can get there. He jerks his head at a long hut in the middle of the district. You have other questions about town? Uh, town. Twin Elms. What can you tell me about Twin Elms? The city is sacred to all Glaphians. Oh, Glaphians. Um, isn't um, my gun guy, the the bard, isn't he a Glaphian? If he is, I should have brought him, but I'll get him later. At this place where our ancestors first encountered the builders, that fated meeting turned our people from generations of wandering to permanent home among the builders' relics. When the builders commanded us to settle here, they allowed us to, the unique privilege to live among their structures here. It's the only place in Elfgothen where this is permitted. The sacred city is divided into four districts. Heathstong, the common district. Old Song, the site of the Tower Temple. Elm's Reach. Home of Delamar and the Druids, oh, Druids, and the Bur Burial Island, which is the most sacred place in the city. I'd hear about Heathsong. This is Heathsong. It's a place where Graflands and Estron may gather together. It's also the site of the Passage of the Six, where our tribal leaders, the Amphafafa, however you say that, Amphafa, Amphafaya, meet. He points to a large round building at the end, the other end of the district. That way is the market guard. You you or put or guard your purse. There are no other bargains like Glafan. And if you need a place to stay, follow the fences to the east. No, the others that way. There you will find the way to seven saplings. Okay, so so, so how do you say that saplings is the inn. Which temple lay in Earl Song? There is the Noon Frost, which is dedicated to Ramagrand. Uh, a group of pale elves from the frozen soft, Southlands. Was it Southlands? <laughs> Might be a soft lad <laughs> from Southlands. Southlands, bloody hell. Southlands arrived not long ago to oversee it. There is also the Nest, a temple of Hylin and Glivlin Mar, a den of beasts dedicated to the hunter god. The route to the burial island also lies that way. Tell me about Elm's Reach. There lies Tevan Uva, one of the only towers of the builders. Still in perfect condition, two great elm trees twine around it. Even the mightiest works of the gods protect the work of the builders. Two delegate sisters dwell there now. The hall of the warrior stands at the other end of the district. Rumour has it that Alpha Simica Simak of the Free Tus Stalaga is there now. Free Tus Stalaga, why do I recognise that name for something? Elm's Reach is also where the druids keep their halls. There are the Orits of the Golden Grove and the Ixat Nula of the Blood Sands. Many shudder at the brutal sacrifice of the elegant Nul, but High Ov. Oh my god, these names! Ovat Irana is just a powerful in her own way. Do you know anything about the burial isles? The place where our Afafama are laid to rest among stones, basically it's a, grave, a graveyard. Among stones placed by the builders, they say the souls of the some of some of the Afalama linger there still. The way lies through Old Song. It is the holiest, I guess, holiest place in all of Twin Elms. So I want to know about the city. Something else you wish to hear? I haven't heard of the keepers of the stone. The oldest of the six tribes, he points the, the tip of his sword at a long hut behind him. 
up the stairs and into the passage of the six. There is where I found my gather. But where the Amafaf, oh my god, these names, <laughs> of the gilded compass can tell you more. Do you really want to know what it is? Oh, my father's the Kafabaz and the Damamaz. You are the builders. You know them as the Iwingians. To us, they are the builders, the creators of the sacred places that we guard to this day. I'll keep your word in mind. Best that you keep your visit brief. Word has reached our ears that the riots have ended and the gates of the Fire Bay have opened once more. Okay. That seems at large. Ready when you are. Hi, sir. Trees could use more of Margaret's touch. Okay. Uh, I assure you. They saw the man break into Tyrone, and Olin, dressed in thick furs, appears immersed in conversation. He locks his hands together to emphasize his point. I speak true. He commanded strange powers, they claim. Ooh, so we're after. An elven woman lifts her eyes from the, her fury. Fury companion? A fury companion? I think it's fury. It nods in your direction. Another foreigner. Did he look like this one? The Olin turns around. Seriously? Builder's wisdom to you. What is it, a stroman? Tell me about the man you speak of. A strange man, a foreigner, broke into Tav Earth, the tower under the giant elms. Stroman cannot walk the grounds of Elms Reach. Why was he allowed to pass? He broke in, and that's what he just said, didn't he? This one was unseen. He wielded a strange power we we know now. What Tiram? Tiram has stood since the time of the builders, and it will stand long after we are all gone. Yes, the tower stands strong, and the gods live within its sacred hall. It's no place for unclean souls, for all foreigners. You said the god lives in terror? How is that possible? The mysteries of our ancestors are not for every foreigner to understand. The Twin Elms, in the Temple of the Builders, the gods commute with us. Be sated in knowing this truth. Goodbye. So it could be in there. Twin Elms. Uh, city front gate. With my luck, someone saw him when he passed through. Foreigners are forbidden to see. They said that Arthur and Brown are currently pressing passage of six metal adherents. Governor Twin Elms has heard a mystery man, a foreigner, that recently broke into one of the forbidden districts. So we got into forbidden districts. So it looks like our option is to break in or we get permission. It's probably permission would be bad for us. Okay. As you're near, you'll feel a vibrant history contained in the essence of the man's soul. Voices from its past seem to call to you. Let's reach out for his soul. You see a pair of muscular legs whirling, and always twirling and spinning. That's nah, just as whirling. Through the air, knocking down two opponents and twisting backwards into another. The monk takes a deep breath and smoothly reverses a brutal uppercut, disabling a fourth combatant and leg sweep marking his victory as the fifth falls to the ground. He's a blur of action as he vaults over a wall and dives smoothly into an open window. The room is empty. He centers himself and continues knocking one guard unconscious after another. Then the only sounds of his passing are the grunts and moans of the injured and incapped. There are no deaths tonight. He makes his way through the building single-mindedly towards a central room, taking out other two guards with a motionless invasion of their minds. A skill half remembered from another lifetime. Uh, he enters the room, the wisps of a man inside bows, his smile mocking, and disappears. A project projection, nothing more. The monk bows back and leaves back. Leaves back the way he came. <laughs> so he basically got into a place, knocked out, uh, repeat loads of guys, 200, you know what I'm saying, repeating uh, like 5 to 5 or 10, whatever, gets there to go for his target, and he's just laughing at him in his projection. He, so he's, ah, screw it. And he's just left again. <laughs> Your history contain the essence of this man's soul. You hear it before, you see it. A scream rings its way through the air as what once was a woman falls to the ground. A ma mess of blood and bone. Another falls to the right, paralyzed by a force far beyond her control. As she is half by a magical blade. Ooh. Above two corpses are caught in a web, cocooned and fed upon by a bevy of giant spiders, fluttering themselves on the kill. Beneath them, a man stands frozen in panic and grief, unaware of the spider dissecting, descending, sorry, silently, the legs come from the top, down on the thick rope of webbing. He is broadsided by another man just in time. 
who knocked him out of the way, but is unable to avoid the spider himself. The spider snatches him up and sinks two fangs the size of bullhorns into him. Uh, Elissing? A terrible shriek. Oh, basically, it's like, ah! Causing a shriek, basically. Another man laughs, weaving his spells into a night of death and betrayal. The last man, the one who was saved, scrambles to his feet and runs. Throat coarse from sc screaming, eyes shut with panic and tears. He looks over his shoulder, his eyes lingering on a woman's torso, unrecognisable in death. A ring on its finger matching one of his... Oh, his wife. Then he turns back towards the exit and does not look back again. Wow. And with that, we're at 50 minutes. We're going to end this episode here. So like and subscribe and good stuff and come back next time and we'll keep looking around the village. Have a great one day. Bye, everyone.